Great question, Wesley. What are my thoughts on getting a flagship TV calibrated? Is it needed? So Wesley, this is critical. Calibration means that you are in a completely light controlled room. It is dark. You don't have ambient lighting because calibration means you're watching it in a studio condition, right? In a theater. So if you get your TV calibrated, unless you're watching in a pitch dark room with just enough ambient lighting that's similar to a grading environment, don't get it calibrated because it'll be too dark. Calibration means they assume no lights in the room, slight ambient backlighting to match what a studio would have when they grade the movie. That's it, right? And if that's not your watching situation, don't get it calibrated because it'll be too dark. Now, you could get it calibrated for a bright room. The problem is they don't know what your ambient light is. If your ambient light is tungsten or bright white fluorescent, cool fluorescent, right? 5600K versus 3500 Kelvin. All of that affects your eyes and it affects your sensitivity to the TV. Hey friends, want to upgrade to Windows 11 Pro but can't afford the official price of $199? How about $21 or Windows 10 for $16 with my discount code SF20? Thanks to our sponsor, WhoKeys. Yes, Black Friday is here. Get an additional 30% off with my code SF20. Go to whokies.com, add Windows 11 Pro to your cart, apply my discount code SF20, and bam, only $21. Here's how we activate it. Go to your WhoKeys account at the top right under User Center, click on My Purchased Orders, click on View Keys and Code, click Get the Key, copy the Windows 11 Pro key under Code Card, then go to your System Settings, scroll down and click Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key code, click Next, and you're done. So don't miss out on these amazing deals. Click on my links in the video description below. So for example, if your room has that orange glow, now your eyes are filled with the orange glow. It's no longer sensitive to orange. And you're going to look at your TV and you're like, wow, why does the TV look so cool? It's because you have yellow tungsten lighting that's already filled your eyes with amber colors and now it's completely off. And so in a bright room, this is why Sony, and I think LG and Samsung, right? They all have different versions of this. They call it ambient room lighting adjustment. And here's Derek from Sony Support to explain how the Sony TVs do it, but I'll do something similar for LG and Samsung in a separate video when those TVs come in for review. When you go into the picture settings of the TV, you'll notice an option for light sensor or ambient light sensor. The first one we're gonna talk about is just the light sensor. If you have an X80 or an X85 series TV, this will be the only option you have, either on or off. In other TVs, it'll be labeled as auto luminance level. They both do the same thing, and this is what they do. If you have a really bright room, they will boost the brightness overall of the panel to make sure it helps to overcome some of the reflections of the room. If you have a Bravia XR TV, you'll notice that this is actually labeled as the auto luminance level within the light sensor menu. So it'll do essentially the same thing, but it's just called something a little bit different. But also on the Bravia XR TVs, you'll notice you have auto tone curve. This takes that same adjustment to the next level. So this will read the room brightness, but instead of just adjusting the panel brightness, it will actually adjust the shadow detail and highlights to make sure they are accurate based on the brightness of the room. So a really, really bright room, as you boost up the brightness, you might actually get a little bit of a change in your highlight detail and your shadow detail, and the auto tone curve will make sure that those stay true and accurate to what you're intended to see. And the final option is the color sensor. Now this is only available on the 2021 Master Series TVs or the 2022 Bravia XR TVs. This is labeled as auto white balance in the menu, and it works very similarly to the auto white balance of a camera. Based on the color temperature of the lighting in your room, it will actually change the color temperature of the TV. So if you're watching with really warm lights like I have behind me, which I typically do at night, it will adjust according to that. But during the day, when you have much cooler light, uh, like I do have pointing at me now, it will adjust according to that. So no matter what your lighting situation is, whether it's day or it's night or you have artificial light, maybe your colors are an interesting color and that can actually change the color temperature feel of the room, it's going to adjust according to whatever the situation happens to be, giving you the closest to the director's intent. And LG and Samsung, their own way, similarly do it. Now, it's only, now some manufacturers only adjust to the lighting 
meaning the brightness of the room, they adjust the brightness of their TVs. Sony actually adjusts the color of the TV to match the ambient color of your room. That might get you more accurate than having it calibrated to a certain white point designed for a neutral dark room. So get it calibrated if you value that. Now, let's say you are in that neutral dark, pitch dark room. The question is, is it still needed? Is Filmmaker Mode enough? And I've spoken to a lot of personal friends who are calibrators, right? And some TVs are incredibly accurate out of the box. That includes like the Panasonic, right? The Z95A last year, incredibly accurate out of the box. Sony, Samsung, LG, right? In Filmmaker Mode, incredibly accurate. Now, they're close to that 3% delta, which means it's barely noticeable after calibration, right? Now, this is where subjectivity comes in. If you're a purist, even that barely noticeable is important to you. If you're not that level of a purist, then it's not that bad. Meaning 20 years ago, you definitely needed to calibrate it. Lips were magenta, right? Skin tone was green. Even three or four years ago, I found the LGs to be kind of greenish out of the box and I had to get that calibrated out. But today, it feels like all the TVs are consistently pretty good in filmmaker mode. Now, some TVs still need a little touch up, TCL being one of them. Even the QM6K, I felt that the red push was, was a bit more than necessary. Obviously, better than last year, but it's still there out of the box. So get the TV home, and if it looks like there's something wrong, and you're in the right filmmaker mode, possibly, you may need to calibrate it, but make sure your room is completely dark when you look at it. Because again, if you have cool lights, then the TV may look warmer than necessary. If you have warm lights, then the TV may look cooler than necessary. So these are all considerations, but generally speaking, filmmaker mode at the flagship level is actually very good among all the brands right now. Well, at least the big four, Panasonic, Sony, Samsung, and LG.